In this episode, we explore Lake Powell, find a great camping spot, do a little off-roading, and get stuck in the mud again. All right, we have officially made it to one of my favorite campgrounds, the Lone Rock Campground here in Utah, technically, Arizona. We're right on the border. I'm going to air down, and then we're going to go find a spot to camp and probably cook some Korean beef shish kebabs. We just found the perfect spot. It has got its own firing already here. We are on a cool cliff over the beach. Got a nice view of the Lone Rock, but I think technically we are in Utah now, so I will be switching hats. Let's eat some food. We decided to take a drive so I could show Kelly all my favorite things about staying at Lake Powell. But I managed to get us into a little situation which turned into a big situation. All right, I managed to get us extremely stuck. So let's see if we can get ourselves out of this. Spoiler alert, right. we did not so get ourselves we out. We use a shovel for the first time. So unfortunately the mud that we got into was like quicksand, it just sunk down to the frame instantly. And a Jeep passerby tried to help us out, but he did not have what it took to pull us out of this mud. So we just kept trying and trying to dig out the frame and get it out ourselves while I was praying that someone was coming to save us while also trying to pretend like everything was okay to Kelly. Finally, a gentleman in a bigger truck decided to try and come give us a hand and it still wouldn't pull us out. So I didn't record it, but next came another heavy duty diesel truck and he managed to winch us back a bit, but then got himself stuck right next to me. So it turned into a two truck recovery while we were losing sunlight. Yeah, I've got some tequila that sounds really good right now. Yeah. Now, I didn't film much after this because we were just worried about trying to get out of there before it got dark, but we made it out at about 9.30 p.m. Okay. Finally got everybody out of there, go, go, go. and it was time for a drink. So big thank you to everybody who helped me out. It was a group effort, and it was a major group effort. I'm so grateful. What an eventful night. We were stuck in the mud for 
five hours. So obviously I didn't film the whole thing. You get the gist. There were three of us trucks trying to pull each other out. A whole lot of fun. And we had a lot of fun last night because we had neighbors that were celebrating prom is what I'm hearing from the police. Blast music till like 3 a.m. over there. Till the police show up, then some of them go running past our tent. Of course, we're up just being nosy, like, what the hell's going on? And, yeah, that kept us out quite a bit. When the cops showed up, I was like, didn't call them, but hey, glad you're here. Here's a little aftermath for being stuck in the mud. It's a mess back here. My traction boards are no longer traction boards. They're just heavy mud boards. I used everything. I had toe straps, shovels, axe, jack. Tried to use it all. So now I think we'll just chill this morning, have some breakfast, and then mosey on out of here. But I still love you, Lake Pal, even though you tried to swallow me whole in your mud. We made it out. You still look great. airing up then we will begin our journey home lake pal was muddy we were stuck i'm so glad we got to camp here though it was my first time actually getting to camp uh except for you know dealing with teenagers getting arrested at 2 or 3 a.m and getting stuck in the mud but it was lovely we got a long ride home just get, gonna air up and get out of here so thank you all for watching be sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content i appreciate you taking time to watch these videos and be sure to check out the link for the iwana mathematics scholarship at arizona state university i'm going to put the link in the description and i really appreciate if everybody can donate something so it looks like we took a little bit of damage being stuck in the mud my alignment is screwed up the wheel is just doing a little twist and shake so 500 miles of this should be fun. Sunday, all the alignment places are closed. We'll be getting massaged the whole way home. <laughs>